Welcome back everybody. On deck for review today we have a holster review. This holster uh, doubles as both inside the waistband and outside the waistband. Um, it's one of the hybrid holsters, hybrid Kydex and leather. And I'm going to turn around right now. I am wearing the holster in these clothes. I'm carrying my SIG P229, the rail version, in it. And uh, it's carrying well. My pants are not sagging as you can see. I'm not wearing some super duper tactical belt. I have a normal uh, belt on and uh, it's doing well. I've, been, I've had this holster for about three weeks now. Been wearing it a lot, carrying my gun in it a lot. Almost always inside the waistband. I'm just generally not a big fan of outside the waistband carry, uh, particularly for a concealed carry. But uh, anyway, take it out here, put a few shots on target, and then uh, we'll get into the review coming up next. I'll take the PT29 out so we can go ahead and get a closer look here at the holster. We'll cover the leather first. This obviously is a brown variation. They do have two colors of brown available as well as a black leather backing. And if you look around the edge here, one of the things that's going to separate it from some of the competitors out there on the market is that when you get the holster in, it is actually uh, cut, beveled, and burnished. So that way it's smooth all around the edges from day one. Some of the other competitors out there are going to leave the edges frayed. And uh, over time, they will become comfortable, but they're not going to be comfortable when you first get it. It's going to irritate your skin at first. This one does not do that. So obviously that's pretty important because this is the part that's going to be touching your skin and uh, affecting the actual comfort as you carry it. Uh, another thing you'll notice here is the combat cut. What that allows for here, we'll take the PT-29 and put it in there so we can show you. It allows you to get a good high grip on the pistol when you go ahead and draw it. And that way the back of the uh, leather isn't uh, getting caught up in your hand and you can draw out quickly with efficiency with the proper grip. A lot of holster companies out there on the market are going to charge extra for that so it does come standard here with the Aegis Armory. Um, the Kydex here up front is available I believe in 17 different colors, don't quote me on that, but that's what it was at least when I checked it this morning, um, including a couple carbon fiber variations that we have here. Um, very fast turnaround on these holsters. Some of the other holster makers out there um, are going to go anywhere from 6, 9, 10 weeks at times get your holster out to you. Uh, Aegis Armory goes ahead and does it within two weeks. More often than not, we'll actually do it within a week. So turnaround time is excellent with these. And another thing that you're probably going to notice looking at it is that it does have these two slots in there. And uh, that is to allow for both inside the waistband and outside the waistband carry. Um, I like that feature. Really, it just gives you another option. And all you have to do to go ahead and switch it from inside the waistband, which is what it comes as, standard, set up with the hooks here. Just go ahead and remove these, and then you can wear it outside the waistband as well. So, for those of you guys that like that, I'm going to go ahead and show you both inside the waistband and outside the waistband carry coming up next. Here's how it rides when you have it in the outside the waistband configuration. Uh, you can see that the belt here will pull the ends in so it's not sticking out. It rides relatively high, which I personally prefer, and allows for easy drawing of the pistol. And here it is in the inside the waistband configuration. I'll pull it up here so you guys can see how it's riding. Um, you can see it's very tight to the body, obviously. But that combat cut in there allows you to get a good grip on it when you go to draw it. And your hand's nice and high on there. And the flared trigger guard allows for easy reholstering. Nothing really getting in the way there. And uh, you can reholster, go back about your business. But very quick to draw from. And conceals very well, even with a uh, relatively large gun like the P229. Before I finish it up, I just wanted to go ahead and point out a couple things. Number one, they're made in the U.S. Number two, they are uh, very well priced. They're right around $55 is where they're coming to market. Uh, I'll put a link below to their website if you guys want to see all the different guns that they make holsters for. Um, they also make all different types of holsters, not just the shield, as you guys have seen in a previous video. And they also make holsters for light mounted uh, guns. So if you have, say, a Glock 19 with a uh, enforced APL, for example, they have a holster for that. So um, that's excellent for those of you guys that want to carry your guns with the lights attached on there. Um, all in all though, great holster, carries well, it's comfortable, it's reasonably priced. They have a lot of different options for color combinations, even though no one's going to see it. We all like the, the color combinations that we like, so um, great little product. I'll probably be picking up more holsters for them down the road. Uh, great company to deal with as well. But if you guys have any questions about this holster, Anything else I review here on the channel, you can feel free to post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and hope to see you guys in the next video.